This is Magic City Soccer. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I've come from a youth soccer background. I learned how to coach in youth soccer. And it's uh, it's something I'm really passionate about, is developing developing young players, writing curriculums, uh, seeing how you implement cu curriculums. And it's something I spent a lot of time learning. So for us to now be involved in, in an academy um, and to be running an academy, it's, it's uh, something that is very close to home for me um, because it's where I came from and, and it's what I came through in Academy so uh, we're going to do our best to try and make this um, as successful as everything else Miami FC have done you know if you look before I came here on the field they won we won last year and we want our Academy to, to operate the same level so we, we first and foremost we want these kids to have fun and, and to, to enjoy it but we, we want to make sure that if we're coming in and we're going to run this that we want to do it to the highest level possible and that's not always about winning but it's about doing things to a high level. You had mentioned, Eric mentioned on, on the stage during yeah. the press conference that you had experience not only as a player, obviously, yeah. coming up yeah. uh, in Europe through youth academies, yeah. but as a coach, kind yeah. of being at the top of technical yeah. management, management wise, but overseeing yeah. those youth academies. Yeah. Can you go into a little bit more detail about what your role has been in the past and what yeah. you perceive so, you doing so now? When, I, when I first stopped playing, I, I got a job working uh, as an assistant coach in the Houston Dynamo Academy. Uh, and then I also worked with a club called Space City, uh, took two teams, and I just learned how to to get in front of of, of players and speak, you know, and, and how to you know how to get ideas that you have in your head actually translate into a session on the field. And and for me, it was what I learned very quickly though was it was as much about the relationships that you form with the people that you're working with. As it is about football, uh, because most of these most of these players aren't going to play in the Premier League. They're probably not going to play in MLS. But if they can if they can fall in love with the game, learn values through the game, hopefully get a college education or the ability to play college soccer, get their get and and the doors that soccer can open up, the friendships that it can build, is every bit as important as the 0.01 percent that go on to be professional soccer players. So is the youth academy going to be under your direction? Yeah, that's the that's the plan. I'm going to look at the I'm going to look at the the technical program. Obviously, it's we're not going to come in here and 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 turn the steering wheel in a yeah. different direction straight away. We we want to we want to let the season finish and and we want to make sure that all the great work that has been done continues. But eventually, yeah, we we would like to to be in charge of the technical piece. How cool is it that some of the coaches that have coached uh, one of your players, Dario yeah. Suarez. It's pretty cool, isn't is, it? Is, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So they must have done a good job, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it is because he's, he's. So it's nice to have people that uh, have that connection. You know, it's pretty cool. I didn't know that before I turned up. So when you turn up and and Dario is saying hey, that guy coached me when I was Cuba. That was my first <laughs> coach. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, it's, cool. it's pretty cool.